Yo, what's happening in the world? I'm back. Tay from Collab here with another tutorial. Recently, a lot of people have been asking me how the hell do you get your sound kits onto Fruity Loop. So, I'm going to do a simple tutorial for Windows. I don't know how to do it with Mac. So, I'm going to show you how to do it with Windows. Simple tutorial. I downloaded a couple sound kits. Um... When you have Windows and sound kits, they usually come in ZIP. You have to convert them. I mean, exact them. So I'm going to exact them. With 7 zip. And here's the key to bringing your sound kits to Fruity Loops. When you exact it if you get a ZIP you have to save the exact files into a Fruity Loops file so what you do is you find your image line folder in your on your hard drive monitor than program files hit your image line folder hit your fruity loops which one you're using data patches user and as you can see here are the drum kits that I've already put into the user folder okay and okay And instantly, as it's still exacting, you have them in your Fruity Loops. I don't know which one I just exacted, so I have to look. Street Anthem Sound Kit. And it's there. I'm going to do another one step by step just so you can get the gist of it. I'm using Google Chrome, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, show in folder, right click, 7 zip. Some computers will say exact files, just hit exact files. Browse this PC or my computer or computers or machines, whichever yours your hard drive program files image line FL10 data patches user okay now which one is this since string sound as I'm exacting yeah, that happened fast. Go to Fruity Loops and Sense String Sound right here. So, pretty simple, easy tutorial on how to add drum kits to Fruity Loops. This is for all FLs. So, uh, thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and uh, spread the word. 2015, man. Still at it.